Welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by You Can Call Me Lordy and Tower Back on Paragon once again. Should be seeing more counters gameplay in the background, something interesting, something spicy. And the gameplay was pretty cool because we made the enemy team surrender within 16 minutes. Ridiculous, I know, but hey. It was pretty fun, and it was a fun time playing with some mates and enjoying the Paragon experience. But that is not the main focus today. Instead, we're going to be talking about the new hero. Some revealed information just came out, a 7 second teaser, which is kind of interesting. Very intriguing, followed by the biggest WTF moment ever in history, mates, for the new heroes. I have no clue what this hero is going to be. We're going to break it down, pretty much talk about it, and see what we can speculate about this new 7 second hero trailer for the new hero and also confirming some stuff that we did talk in the past. So we're going to have a lot of juicy information within this video, but before you get to this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. And if you may have turned turn on notifications, you can do so by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you have a chance to become one of the first mates up to date with my amazing Paragon Gaming content and the gaming content that we do produce on this channel. As always, expect it here first. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. I might sound a little bit tired because I've only had two hours sleep, in the last like two days, so it's been really hectic in the life of Lordy, if you want to call it that. But we are trying our best to update you guys as quick as possible. To update the family mates as quick as possible when it comes to anything with Paragon News. So no longer the official Paragon Twitter page just tweeted out this with the caption, The world is my stage, hashtag every three weeks. And obviously this is context with the new hero that will be coming out on February 21st. And this is kind of interesting, the world is my stage, okay? But once you actually play the trailer, which you'll be able to see right now, it's seven seconds only. It's really interesting because because you end up being clues by the end of it. There's not much information there, except for this weird effect of purple love hearts or pink effect in the background, followed by this character that which is standing there, looking like she's wearing some 1980 clothing with cloths hanging off her actual arm and pieces of clothing like that. Then at one point you see five shadows of the character itself with the pink effect behind it as well. And then it pretty much ends up like that with some music in the background. And the music sounds like it's some type of concert or something like that. And we're going to jump into one of our theories very soon. But one of the things that we predicted is that this character was a female. Some of you guys were saying, you're assuming the gender and going crazy in the chat. It was so funny to see and obviously the outcome is that it's a female. So no dicks out for you guys anytime soon with the next male hero. Because the male hero most likely will be the next one after this hero. Because obviously this hero is a female. And all you mates are sending me tweets saying if she is a K-pop star, pretty much a Korean pop star. Hero within Paragon, followed up by Beyonce in Paragon. And all these interesting things coming up out of nowhere. It's pretty sick to see them. And everyone's confused at this current moment. I feel like this hero is some type of support and she could have the name of proto lady i'm not sure if she's robotic because we don't have enough information to say what she is right now her name is unclear i thought it was mudane because there was so much information so much day mine information about mudane's kit but it looks like that's on hold for now and they've picked up another hero from the pipeline of heroes and they'll be adding that to the game because that hero is a valentine hero i'm guaranteeing that something to do with valentine and the world stage aka some concert type of thing and we're gonna keep connecting back to some old points um, if you go back to the first tweet ever that we ever noticed about the new hero, and there was a hashtag, will still die. I don't think Steel's gonna die. Usually Steel dies in the trailer or something gets affected by him. He gets pretty much bullied in trailers. I don't think that's gonna happen to him. He might be loved in this trailer, and that's pretty much why he's gonna die. He's gonna die by love, by this character. So I'm guessing there's some type of love connection between these two characters. Followed up by that love symbol image that will appear on the screen right now. That's saying, that's like a love symbol to her fans. I'm guessing that's what it is. She's pretty much spreading the love with her mates or her fans like we do on this channel as well and she's doing that on the world stage. So that's where you get that little image with a light source coming to her face and she's got the love symbol like that and she's looking up towards the sky. So I'm guessing that's why she's doing that symbol. And it wasn't just for Valentine's. And she, obviously we say she's a Valentine hero because if you look at the 7 second hero teaser, behind her these hearts or this pink and purple effect and obviously we have the kind of hearts event going at this current moment which makes sense to release a valentine hero around this time even though the day of valentine has passed the event the kind of hearts event is still going so i'm guessing it's a very good time for them to implement a character for this type of event and the reason why i have some information backing this up because they did the exact same thing with Countess, she was pretty much like the vampire hero, and she was released on the Halloween day or October 31st. It was like the perfect date for the hero to be released, or around that month of Halloween. So that's pretty sick. And I'm guessing they're trying to do the exact same thing with the Valentine hero. 
aka the next hero that will be coming to the game, that the name of that hero is unclear, but she is Korean, so Mew Dang is still a possibility because Queen is somewhat Korean. Also, within the actual video, there's five versions of herself or shadow versions of herself. It could be the other hero, Trickstar, but I don't think so. I feel like our first theory about her being a performer, followed up by pretty much doing love piece symbols and being the Valentine hero, is a very, very good indication of what she could actually be. But her name? I have no clue what her name is. So we have to wait for that and pretty much gain more information and build up our theory. And hopefully once they actually release, and maybe I think tomorrow night, it should be tomorrow night. There should be like a trailer tomorrow or more information about it tomorrow. And pretty much we'll get more confirmed information of what this hero is going to be because I feel like she's a support. She reminds me of Lucio because she's got that little vibe, that uh, music vibe to the character. I play a lot of Overwatch and when I see Lucio, he's annoying as hell because he just exists. Until he knocks you off the platform and pretty much kills you like that, I feel like that hero or the new hero that's coming to Paragon is going to have some surprise factor to it and it's going to be really great. But mates, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this video. Leave your theories about this hero, the name of the hero, followed by what the hero could be in the comment section down below because it's going to be great to read those theories and see if they do become true, if my theory does become true or your theories become true in the next couple days. So leave your opinions and your thoughts and your theories in the comment section section down below. So make sure you did enjoy this video, show us why smash that blade like button, let's try to get 200 likes on this video, and if you make sure you want to see more Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video, oh time to go but don't you worry, we'll be back very soon, hey Dad boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. All you mates in the comment section saying that she's Beyonce, she's not thick enough to be Beyonce, let's be honest. <laughs> and then it feels right.